Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Happy Monday to everybody and it's not just any ordinary Monday. It is probably the most significant and historical moment in World of Warships Legends history. And today we are going to be in the Tier 8 American Heavy Cruiser USS Buffalo. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome some ship and uh, this is the very first match I have had today um, and it's also the very very first match I've had in the Buffalo now I have this thing fully upgraded I've got all the stuff on here now we're gonna talk a bit about the Buffalo because we've never played it before and I want to kind of give you my thoughts on it so far now the Buffalo feels like a miniature Des Moines that's what this thing feels like it's basically a Baltimore but with an extra 8 inch gun mount and a better reload by a little bit and yeah this thing's a beast and uh, we're gonna show that off in this match now real quick I'd like to remind you guys if you are new to the channel don't forget to go down there hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit that like button everybody too and uh, yeah once you guys have watched the video in its entirety don't forget to go down there leave a comment tell me what you guys thought of the video but enough talking about all that stuff let's talk about the Buffalo so yeah the Buffalo is basically a Baltimore but with an extra 8 inch gun mount and like a second um, second um, better reload and uh, that's about it and it's got a lot better hit points you've got about 47,800 hit points now the AA on this ship I am assuming I haven't looked but I'm assuming it's probably good um, because most American cruisers at tier 7 or higher have very very good AA so I'm just gonna assume that it has good AA now um, the uh, speed and maneuverability of the Buffalo it is pretty average about 32 33 knots so really nothing too crazy there um, now um, like I said, this thing has 12 203 millimeter 8 inch guns, and they just aren't any, you know, typical 8 inch guns. They are the American 203s. And if anybody knows anything about the American 203s, well, here's examples right here. I'm citadeling a battleship. Not to mention a Sovetsky Soyuz. A Sovetsky Soyuz is a tier 8 Russian battleship. I'm citadeling out to like 18 kilometers. I'm getting citadels from that range. <laughs> yeah. This AP is nasty. Do not sleep on it, anybody. Now, of course, the one downside to these guns is the floatiness. Um, all American ships really have weird shell velocities. And what I mean by that is they have, like, slow motion shells. So that's kind of the one downside to it. But um, I don't know. I still, um, I'm used to it, though. I've, I've been playing American ships for so long. I'm kind of used to that slow firing arc. So, um, or, yeah, slow travel time. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, notice that there's a main right here. And uh, also, I like how Wargaming said that um, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of tier 8s. Well, this is the very first match I got into today. Into today and uh, there's a lot of fucking tier 8s, pardon my language. But holy crap. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Wargaming really thought that one fully through. But um, anyway. Yeah, so we're switching over to the high explosive, getting some fires. Now, the high explosive isn't really anything special. It's American HE, and it's 203 American HE, so it's pretty good. Got a decent fire chance, and uh, we're able to get some fires, hopefully, on this main. Now, he did put out our single fire. Really not much we can do about that. I'm hoping for a follow-up fire, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Now, one thing we got to worry about in our buffalo here is we only have... I'm going to talk about the armor now. We only have 27 millimeters of bow and stern plating. It's kind of the same thing for pretty much all American cruisers, tier 7 and up, except the Cleveland. Um, so you don't have a whole lot of armor when it comes to dealing with 16-inch guns. Maine can overmatch me. Um, I believe the Sovetsky Soyuz can overmatch me. I believe every single battleship almost can overmatch me except, um, like, German battleships or... Um, well, actually, the Friedrich de Grobe, I think, uh, the Friedrich de Great can overmatch me because I think it has 16-inch guns. So, basically, guys, anything above 15-inch um, guns, so 16-inch guns or higher, will absolutely crap on you. Um, so, you got to be very careful. But, like we've said in our past cruiser videos, what do you guys do to counter that? Well, you guys need to be positioning. You guys need to be using your island cover, using your concealment. That is very, very important. Now, that's how you guys are going to counter it. You don't have the greatest armor to deal with that kind of stuff, so what do you do? You position yourself very well, and that's how you're going to do a lot of, you know, good with this ship. Now, um, what else is there to mention? I think we've covered a lot of the, you know, the main points here. Um, now, going back to the, um, 
uh, to the armor a bit. Like I said, it's only got 27 millimeters of bow and stern armor. So anything above 15 inch guns will go straight through your bow and stern. Um, however, if you do see people with 15 inch guns, so like Bismarck's, Chirpitz's, Brandenburg's, blah, 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 anything with 15 inch guns or, or lower, you can bow tank pretty much for the most part unless they have high explosive loaded. So keep that in mind uh, when you guys are, you know, playing your playing your buffalo now um so yeah my thoughts on the buffalo so far it's a pretty good ship i mean i don't have any complaints about it i like it it's basically a miniature des moines like it's literally a mini des moines like if this thing had an extra second off its reload this thing would literally be a des moines like the reload seven seconds on mine 7.8 seconds i think to be exact so yeah, it's, it's pretty damn strong. I like it a lot, and uh, the first game I get in this thing, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but I get quite a bit of damage, so I think it's a pretty strong um, tier 8 um, cruiser, and uh, I had to spend a lot of damn money to get this thing. So, yeah. But um, I like it, and yeah, there's really not much else to talk about it. It's literally the same kind of ship. It's like a Baltimore, but with Des Moines kind of traits to it. So... Um, yeah, now notice we're up to 50,000 damage, and uh, we are using our island cover, and look at that Azumo out there. We are testing some of the AP action now some more on this Azumo, and we are chunking them. We are chunking the crap out of them. Now, unfortunately, I'm landing shells, shells a little bit low, so I'm, like, crashing down on his belt, which is unfortunate. So I'm trying to aim a little higher to kind of mitigate that, and, uh, yeah, there's some much better results. We're getting absolutely um, crazy amount of penetration damage off this Izumo. Um, so very, very nice. Look at that. Oof, that was rough right there. 6, 7K right there. Oh, my gosh. But, uh, yeah, the guns on this are excellent, but then again, on most American heavy cruisers, they are pretty good. The 203s are nice. And uh, especially when you get to Baltimore, because then they become really nice. And um, yeah, and down goes that Azumo. And that is our very first kill. Uh, mark that, guys, in the history books of this channel. The very first kill in the Buffalo was on an Izumo. So yeah, not too bad. But that's not going to be the only kill we're going to get this game. So keep that in mind. Now, um, I want to talk a little bit about the the um, the stuff I have on my on my Buffalo. If you guys are interested, um, I run Norman Scott with Refill Station, um, all that kind of stuff. I also um, on my uh, Buffalo the modifications I have. I have aiming systems, I have propulsion, I have concealment, and I have main battery mod, I believe, and I have this thing fully upgraded. So keep that in mind if anybody's curious about that. Um, that's what I run. Now you guys could of course swap at any point out. For like fully packed if you guys want to i never recommend you guys use eop on your heavy cruisers eop is a viable thing to use on like your light cruisers but not on heavy cruisers i don't need the extra penetration on high explosive shells because the pen is already pretty good with these two or three millimeter guns but um yeah so probably guys if you're wondering the next tier eight i'm probably gonna get and it won't be a while until i can get it because i just spent so much credits upgrading this dang thing but the next tier eight i'm probably going to get is going to be the lnm sumner because i'm sure a lot of you guys know i love my american destroyers so um that is probably going to be the next ship on my bucket list i'm going to be picking up so look forward to that in the future um don't know when but in the future and also look forward to another video later today um in uh, a certain tier seven american destroyer Not not the black it's something else put your guesses in the comments below if you guys have made it this far in the video um, but yeah a certain tier 7 american dd um is gonna be um uh coming out later today now notice we are up to 106,000 damage we're doing pretty damn good and not to mention our div mates are doing pretty damn good too i forgot to mention that we're in a division um we're joined by quickie Bro uh quickie bark and we're also joined by Airbreak. um and uh, i just hopped into a division with these guys just to play some matches i'm sure you guys have seen quirky bark on the channel before if you guys haven't go check out his channel he's got his own channel and uh go give him some support there go show him uh, some of that um, Dr. Ghost Games love. Give him a subscription, guys. But um, I'll put his uh, channel in the link in the description of the video. But um, yeah, so that's going to be um, almost it. But we're not done yet. I mean, we still have a bit more to do here, believe it or not. Um, so yes, it's kind of stale gameplay, not going to lie. But um, we are in a cruiser at the end of the day. Sometimes a cruiser gameplay can be a little bit stale um, because um, sometimes, you know, you're just finding yourselves needing to position more than anything. And uh, notice that we don't really lose any amount of hit points at all in this game. 
And that's just because the way we were positioning and shit, <laughs> pardon my language, um, the way we were positioning, uh, yeah, we really never got hit because of it. We were sitting behind islands, using our concealment, and uh, just, you know, not giving anybody really a full reason to want to just nuke us out of existence. But, um, yeah, so we're up to 115k, and actually I spoke too soon, I just jinxed myself. We just got hit for the first time <laughs> in this whole game. Ten minutes into the match, we get hit for the first time. Very nice, Iowa. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we actually managed, speaking of Iowa, Iowa put out our single fire, but we actually managed just now to get another follow-up fire. So that's going to be some nice damage rolling in over time. Now, um... That's the USS Black out there, so we fire our back guns, hoping that those will maybe hit him. But uh, unfortunately, spoiler alert, um, spoiler alert, they're not going to make their mark. So, yeah. Now we're using this island to our advantage. Like I said, guys, one wrong move in your in your cruisers, and it could be your last move. you got to be very, very careful. I know Buffalo's very strong. I know Des Moines's very strong. I know, uh, I know the... Um, the Baltimore is very strong. They're very good cruisers, but you guys have to be worrying a little bit because you don't have a whole lot of armor. Any high caliber AP shells will absolutely obliterate you. But if you guys do position well, you guys do use your concealment right, um, you guys will have a majority for the, fir uh, for, for the most part a good time in your uh, cruisers. Now, if anybody's asking how to get money, by the way, there's our second kill. If anybody's asking or anybody wants to know the best ways to earn money if you guys haven't you know got enough for tier 8 um i recommend if you guys have a tier 7 premium play the hell out of that and uh if you guys have don't have a tier 7 premium if you have a tier 6 play the hell out of that if you guys don't have a tier 6 premium well play some tier 5 premiums really premium ships will be your best bet um for making money run those e economic boosters on there to maximize your profits and uh, over time you'll eventually earn enough credits um i know it's gonna take a while it's called the grind for a reason but over, you know, time, you will get enough money to uh, purchase one of these tier 8 ships. And don't worry, guys, they're not going anywhere, so you don't have to, you know, stress over it too much. So, you guys have plenty of time to pick up these uh, these tier 8s. So, I myself saved a little bit of money um, before the update, so I managed to actually pick up one of these tier 8 ships. But, um, yeah, so... That's about it, everybody. We are coming to the end of this video. We've got about a minute left of this game. But uh, I hope you all did enjoy it. And, um, yeah, um, I hope you all also look forward to videos to come. And uh, thank you guys once again for 800 subscribers. And we are already a quarter of the way to 900. You guys are absolutely crazy with the support. I cannot thank you all enough. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're... Uh, we actually did manage to take out that rune. That is our third kill of the game, and we have a high caliber as well. And that is going to be our final bit of damage, 159,045. And it looks like those two guys are going to ram. And, uh, yeah, down they go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so sorry if I mumbled off a little bit in the uh, last three, four minutes of this match, but... uh. Anyways, guys, nonetheless, I hope you all did enjoy it. If you guys did, punch the like button, leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys thought of this video. And, uh, yeah, we were top of the leaderboard. Quirky Bark came second, and uh, unfortunately, Airbrake did not have a very good game. It is what it is. You can't, you know, have great games all the time. But nonetheless, everybody, I will uh, catch you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your days. Peace out. Stay healthy as always, and be kind to one another.